Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and I'm going to be bringing you a mod installation tutorial on the Explosions Plus light mod, which I have right here. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways to do it. One is the super fast and easy way, which is using multi MC and uh, creating an instance, and which I'll show you first. And then after that, I'll show you the manual way to do it, where you just install it into your Minecraft.jar folder. So we're going to make this real quick. What you're going to do is just start up multi MC. If you haven't got it, there's a download in the description down below. So first of all, um, you're going to want to, you're going to want to make a new instance. Now, uh, some people have questioned before how you make it look like this because your multi MC might not look like this. Um, if you're using a Mac, I honestly don't know. I'm using Windows, so you might want to try and find a tutorial for Mac. Although you might be able to follow it um, with Windows if you know what you're doing. So. You're going to go into settings, which is right here, and then under GUI style, just change it to fancy. That's going to change it to look like mine. Um, now you're going to go to add a new instance, and it's just going to load load the different Minecraft versions. And uh, the mod I've got here is for 1.5.2, so you're just going to get the same version. And I'm going to name it Explosions Plus Light, and then click OK. So now you've got the instance here. It's got nothing on it though. It's just normal Minecraft at the moment. Next, you're going to go to Edit Mods on the side and click on MC Forge. Now, it, all it's going to do is load the different versions of Forge for you to choose, and you're just going to choose the latest version of Forge for the uh, the version of Minecraft you're running. So I, I'm running 1.5.2, so I'm going to be looking for the latest version of Forge for 1.5.2. So here you go, Minecraft version 1.5.2, latest version. Click OK. Now it's just going to download it and add it into your little instance here doesn't take too long at all. Uh, next, all you're going to have to do after this, really quickly, I'll just show you when uh, this is finished downloading, is just you're going to add the mod into the instance and then that's it. You're basically done. Um, so this is taking a little while, I'm not sure why. Alright, I'm going to cut it here and, uh, and I'm just going to come back when it's finished. Alright guys, so it's finally uh, added itself into the instance. So right now you're running a normal Minecraft 1.5.2 or whatever version you're running uh, for the mod that you're installing and uh, it's got MC Forge. So nothing's been added yet. Next you want to go into the mods folder here and you want to... where did I put the folder? Ah! It's on my desktop somewhere. Alright, so you want to... Yeah, I'll put it all the way over there. So you want to grab the Explosions Light jar file that's available from the forum thread uh, that the uh, the owner of the mod has created. So you just want to download that, super easy. The download link will be in the description below. And then all you have to do is drag the jar folder into here. That's all you have to do. That, so it'll show up here, it'll show mod version 1. You click close, and, uh, and you should be all done. So we're going to open that up. And I'm just going to cut to when it's finished downloading all of Minecraft, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, once it's finished downloading Minecraft, it's just going to download Forge, which can be shown all in here, and uh, and then you've got your mod, you've got your mod installed, so you're just going to create a new world, let's name it, uh, Blast Zone, okay, I'm, uh, I'm very good when it comes to naming worlds, so we got Blast Zone active, probably should have made it creative, besides the point, we can just, oh, and I've spawned in water, that's, uh, that's quite cool, so let's just drift to the top. I have never actually played Minecraft where I have spawned in water. Um, Alright, so there's no islands for ages, so guess what, I'm just going to quickly start a land world, get myself into creative, just to show off the mod a little bit, um, and yeah, so we're going to go down here, and we've got the Biome Buster, Nova Bomb, C4, and there's actually a bunch of others, I just actually don't know where they are at the moment. I think this is actually just the light version, so this has just got Biome Buster, Nova Bomb, and uh, and yeah, so I actually won't show them off now. You can probably find a video where it does show them off, or you can just test them out yourself in your own little world. Uh, so now I am going to show you how to install it manually if this way doesn't work. Alright guys, so what I'm going to show you in this half of the tutorial is how to install uh, the Explosives Plus Light mod um, if the previous tutorial didn't work for you for whatever reason, if you ran into some sort of error. Uh, I know uh, very few people are getting them, so I thought I might add this in um, just for an alternate way to install the mod. So um, in this way, we're going to actually install it to your main Minecraft uh, actual folder and game instead of using an instance. Um, so 
just to be sure, just to make it easier, unless you know what you're doing with mods, um, you want to go options and force an update. Um, this just makes everything clean, so you're not going to run into any issues with your Minecraft uh, folder and everything. If you don't force the update, there might still be mods or files from previous like previous times you've messed with the folders, and it could cause issues. So if you're running into issues, just force the update, clean out your Minecraft, and uh, and try the tutorial again. So now that you've done that, I'm going to press Windows and R, and this is going to bring up your run window. You can also do it through Start Menu, but I'm just going to press Windows and R. It's easy for you guys uh, to do, and then you're going to go to App Data. There's other ways you can get to your App Data folder, um, but this seems to be the easiest way. So just type that in. It's the it's the little percentage uh, sign App Data, and then it, the percentage sign again. Press OK, and you're going. It's going to take you to uh, my name is Mitchell, so that's what my computer's called, and then app data and roaming, and then you're going to find your .minecraft folder here, you're going to click on that. Next, you're going to go to your bin folder, and then there's going to be a file here called Minecraft, and it's going to be an executable jar file. So what you're going to do is right-click on it, and uh, you have to install 7-zip, or a program like 7-zip. I'll leave the download for that program in the in the description. It's completely free, and uh, it's it's a really useful program for opening up zip folders and uh, you know zipping things. And I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, it's very helpful for especially things like this because you need to have some sort of program to op open up the jar file folder. Um, so once you've opened that up, you're going to get all of this. Now, unlike other mods, because you're using Forge, you do not delete your Meta Imp file. So what I'm going to do here is grab the Minecraft Forge, and I'm going to 7-zip that, open that up, and drag everything in here. Scroll all the way down, select it all, copy it into there, say yes, okay, now all that's in there. Now, the final step is to actually go, you're going to have a mods folder here. Now, uh, this this um, folder will not be create will won't not be there. So you have to make it manually, or when you start up Minecraft with Forge, it'll make the folder already. So I've already got the folder here. You can just create a folder and just call it Mods exactly like that, and um, and then you're going to put the mod into this folder. So I, I accidentally uh, delete. I actually recorded this a little bit before and it wasn't recording audio so this is my second time going through and I've deleted the mod from my computer so I will cut this and just spare it back alright so I have uh, taken out of my recycle bin um, I just wanted to cut the video just in case there was anything in my recycle bin um, that I didn't want shown on camera but it just it's just the Aether folder so uh, we're all good so yeah you just want to put the explosives plus light mod um, into this mods folder here, and uh, you're good to go. It should all be installed. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was easy for you guys to follow. If you're having any issues, comment them down below. Perhaps someone else can help you. If not, I will uh, take a look at the comments and uh, see if I can help you out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a like down below if it's helped you. Leave a comment. As I said, if you're running into issues or if this helped you, you can tell other people that it works. And uh, and make sure to subscribe if you uh, play Minecraft and stuff, because I do a lot of Minecraft videos and uh, gaming-related videos and hopefully animations and stuff. So, yeah, I will uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.